All right, we're here with uh, Tom Atkinson. He's just finished his first round of the Kellogg's Nushka and Ironman series for 2010. Tom, that's that's a tough race out there, mate. You had you had a good start, and I mean, there's a lot of hours in it. Yeah, I got off the beach pretty cleanly, and um, you know, I found myself kind of in the lead, which is a bit of a surprise. And I thought I'd try and stick it out at the front for as long as I could. And you know. All credit to the boys. They just, you know, there's no, they're relentless. They just keep going and going and going, and they, they don't, they don't let up at all, which I found out pretty soon. So you find yourself in front at the beginning of the race, and you go, "Hang on, like there's some champions in here, and I'm, and I'm leading it." How does that kind of change your mindset? Oh, uh, you know, I, I sort of, it was like it wasn't expected, but I, I wanted to be around the mark on the ski because I knew my swimming is just, yeah, you know, it's, it's obviously my weakest le- uh, leg, and. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I needed to get off to a good start, which I did, but yeah, I thought my swimming had improved a little bit more than what it did, so it let me down a lot. Yeah, I mean, and we've we just said it, there, there's some old dogs in here. The guys have been going around doing this for, for years and years. The Eckstein's, you know, Matty Poole, one of your friends, Ed, um, Ali Day, the Doties. Like, there's some really big names in there, so, I mean, you've, you've done quite well. You've done, you know, you must have done yourself proud. Yeah, like, of course, those guys are. The, the amount of training they put in um, gets them the results. Uh, this season, I've put in a lot of effort, but you know, it's probably in hindsight, it's probably not at the level which you know it needs to be at to compete with those those guys you mentioned. They're just you know they're a step above pretty much everyone else in the in the field, so it's really hard to compete with that. And you found that out when you went and spent a couple of weeks on the Sunshine Coast. Yeah, like their workload's just enormous. They train three to four sessions a day, six days a week, and. Um, and, and I guess week in, week out, 26 weeks a year, they just thrash their body and, and it prepares them for a two-hour a two hour race like the one we just had. So out of all the legs today, we had the you know the, the long runs in there and the, and the traditional ski board swims. You know, which one do you think we have to focus on a bit more for, for the next uh, enduro? Oh, the two-hour race, it's, it's all about the transition. That's why Shannon excels at it. And, you know, going from the craft to, and the swim legs to the to the long transitions, it's definitely more of a runner's race. I'm not sure how Kai finished up, but you know, he's obviously the best swimmer in the in the field. But um, it, it's it's becoming a runner's race, and I think that's why Kane and Shannon just dominate. And at Bondi, we've got the shorter um, Eliminator series. How does that kind of change your focus for the next two weeks? Um, yeah, like it, it's probably not going to be so much more of a. a uh, fitness sort of race, although the eliminator, like you've got it, they're going to drop five each round. So towards the third race, fourth race, or how many, how many there are, obviously fitness is going to play a large part in it. But it's more of a sprint race, so it's all about getting off the beach quick, you know, maintaining a position around the boys, and then, and then sort of just sprinting in. And the transitions are only shorter; they're a lot shorter. So I don't know. Like the top three that finished today will obviously be fielding pretty well in the in the Bondi race, but I reckon there should be a few others that can come through to, to really match like Zane and, and Kai for the two, definitely. Yeah, but what about what we see from Tom Atkinson at Bondi? Oh, well, you know, my speed off the beach is obviously my my best asset. You know, I, I get off the beach usually really good, so um, it sets your race up, especially when it's shorter. Um, so, oh, I'm definitely looking forward to the shorter format, and, and I'm... Yeah, 14th today was, or whatever I got today, was, I was pretty happy with it, but I'm looking to do a lot better at one day, definitely. Cool. Thanks, Tom, and uh, enjoy your, your, your after party, if there is such one, um, or is it straight into the... Oh, man, I've got to fly back. I get back at 10.30, and the guys I live with are having a party without me, so I don't know how I'm getting from the airport, but I'll probably have a beer or two at home and then just drink my sorrows. <laughs> Thanks, Tom, and uh, yeah, enjoy and see you in Bondi. Yeah, no worries, mate.